The following podcast is intended for mature audiences. If you enjoy our work, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow the links in the description. Thanks for your support, and enjoy. Greetings and salutations, listener. It is I, Eric J. Chucky, joined, as always, by my fer- fellow forgetful son of a bitch, the boy. Hey. This is the Two Nerds Podcast. Uh, I need to remind you guys, those of you who uh, are subscribed but only ever check out the podcast, I've been doing other videos. Um, their updates are not quite as frequent as I would like, but uh, I do have some scripts ready. So if you guys haven't seen the episodes of Violent Profiles that are already up on this channel, go check them out. They're pretty neat, if I say so myself. I like them, but I'm a little biased. I'm less biased somehow. Uh, But it's relevant, because today we are talking about video games. Now, you may remember that uh, about a year ago, I think, we, maybe longer, we went through um, music. Talk about the theme of the podcast. Yeah. Uh. We we went through the music uh, of, God, the last couple decades, and tried to see what songs we liked, what songs we were listening to, so on and so forth. Yeah. it was like an experiment to see when pop music had passed us by. Yeah, and basically we found out that number one singles usually blow. But the number two slot, usually all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we wanted to do a similar thing here. The original idea for this podcast was to track the top-selling game from, say, the 80s. And, you know, see what was the top-selling game that year. Um, if you were not an infant during that year, what were you playing? Uh, have you played that game and did you like it? Turns out that's impossible. Yeah, you know, and I forgot. Like, I knew some of this, but it's super interesting trivia. Uh, there are documentaries and articles about it, but, like, for example, nobody can agree when the Super Mario Brothers came out in the U.S. It depends on who you ask, literally. Uh, it's not... There is a there is a date on Wikipedia, but that does not mean that date is There's, like, agreeable. a date field. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a small window, but still... The fact that there is a window is and very apparently curious. Apparently we just didn't keep track, or at least Wikipedia doesn't have, and neither of us felt like doing deeper research into what was the top-selling games before this millennium. God, I mean, you know, it's it's very interesting because I can find individual sales information, and a lot of them there's, like, lifetime sales information that isn't quite as what we're looking for here. Uh, but I find it surprising that some data nerd not unlike myself, hasn't gone back and charted this information. Um, Because as far back as I could get was like 2001, I believe. Our little list here starts at 2002. Uh, And even then, one of the websites we used for um, the information, vgcharts.com, that's charts with a Z, uh, only went back to 2004. Uh, it, It was weird. It's just not something that, like, it shows that for a long time, video games are, one, still really new media, and two, for a long time, they were considered inherently disposable. Yeah. Well, we were talking about this uh, uh, yesterday as well. Uh, We went to a local barcade Friday night, and... uh, Really good one, too. Yeah, yeah, we had a great time. There were a lot of old machines there, but, like, the wear and tear on them was visible. You know what I mean? Uh, A lot of yellowed... um, screens, a lot of uh, sticky joysticks, some coin-op slots that didn't work so well. Um, Sticky as in they stuck, not that some child with their gross sugar hands touched them. Uh, Now everything was very nice and clean. Yeah, it was was really nice. But um, I'd advert it, but I don't know how many of you live in our area, and that's kind of useless information if you don't. So uh, Also, they'll find us. No, they'll stab me for my opinions on recent Batman movies. <laughs> I, uh, I'd i say I welcome you to try, but I only welcome you to try in that I would love to call the police on you. Yeah, I'm not a hard enough man to fight you. I will call the cops. Yeah, it'll be pretty <laughs> funny. You'll get dragged out of here in your pants and screaming. Uh, why, did anyhow, they, why did they come in their pants? It's... Well, that's how they get dragged out. They're going to uh, be so mad they really want to stab us, so they get dragged out by the pants, and the pants come right off. My brain... Legitimately, no meme used the British definition. Uh, that's of what pants. I meant. Yeah, uh, and then I went back and used the American definition of pants in the same thought. We're very tired. Uh, <laughs> compiling this data took like two hours. Um, We're like, let's do this. 
This yeah. the funny fucking thing too is that like it was the it was what we played that was the hard part. Because <laughs> it turns out we both have terrible fucking memories. We remember the games we've played, but by God, if putting them in a specific time frame isn't next to impossible. Yeah. Um, this is why I do movie homework. Yeah, I was doing video game homework for a while, but I just I didn't feel super accomplished. It did not feel good. But uh, anyway, the data here is very interesting, too. It's interesting to see how things flow. I found out a lot of stuff while I was doing this research. Um, man, sometimes just browsing Wikipedia numbers is interesting. Uh, all of this data, the, we've got the top five best-selling games that were released in the USA within that year. Okay? So, like, say in one of the years, Super Mario Brothers was the top-selling game, but it was released the last year. It's not on our list. We went to the next highest one. We found the one... Well, he... I didn't do any of this. He found the list that... The one on the list that was released that year and was the highest. I also grabbed a couple noteworthies from the top sales of PC games. I did my best. Um, and some of these years, man, I had to, like, compile data from three different places. This is according to Wikipedia which anyone can edit, and vgchartswithaz.com, and some of my independent research. So, without further ado, uh, I figure let's just go down from 5 to 1, talk about them if we found them noteworthy, uh, 5 to 1 and the PC release, and then share what we were playing uh, that we can remember mostly, like the game we were playing the most, because obviously we played a bunch of games, but... Man, sometimes you pick up and, and finish a game. And to be fair, we cheated, and every one of these years has multiple games listed. Oh, and yeah. Even then, those games were not the only games we played that year. Hell no. Uh, there were a couple that I know I removed from the list just because I loved them, but didn't play them enough to qualify for a list like this. Same. So, uh, I assume five is the starter there? Yeah, five is the starter there. I've got, got me a spreadsheet here. And then we go. And I accidentally the removed the the top header when I was editing out the previous years that we have no data for. Um, All right. So at number five for two thousand two, we have Spider Man the movie, the game. Yes. Um, uh, you said that was on PS two. I believe so. It's a PlayStation. I've got them color coded to PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo. So I assume Nintendo is red. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's always funny, like, for a while in gaming magazines, Nintendo was, um, purple? I guess because the GameCube was purple? Yeah, that's probably why. But, like, why bother shifting it when there are other systems that aren't necessarily purple? Nintendo's logo is red. Because the GameCube was purple. I guess. And I guess PlayStation, the PSX's logo was red. So, that threw them off until PlayStation adopted blue with the PS2. Hmm. I just answered my own stupid fucking question live on the podcast. There we go. Uh, I don't remember playing Spider-Man the movie, the game. I think I might have. I played some Spider-Man games. Probably most of them, actually. I played it. It was okay. Uh, number four is Medal of Honor Frontline. That's a flea medicine. Yeah, I fucking never played this game. <laughs> nope. Uh, number three was Super Mario Advance 2, better known as a dumbed-down version of the SNES game Super Mario World. This was on the Game Boy Advance. I've played Super Mario World. Yeah, I didn't play that, but no. I, I already beat Super Mario World some ten years ago. So, um, Madden 2003 is number two. Madden 2003 is number two. And uh, GTA Vice City is number one. Yep. A side note, I have actually played Madden 2003. I used to play a lot of sports games um, with my brother-in-law, but uh, I don't. it was a football game. I had 96 for he the was much, He was much more fond of the college football games, and so was I, because I was a child. <laughs> so I liked the video games that were available. Yeah. Um, but I played a fuckload of Vice City. Yeah, I did too, actually. Uh, it's weird how... how it's Not the year it came out. When we get to my list, <laughs> you'll, you'll quickly start to notice a pattern. And that I basically never played a game the year it came out, with like some very rare exceptions. The early 2000s were during that time in my high school career where I had disposable income from like allowance and the occasional, you know, birthday money and such. So there were some games and shit that I got when they came out. Whereas for me, I was still in middle school, and so no, that didn't happen. Um... Uh, PC gaming, uh, the best game, the, the biggest selling game I could find in 2002 was Battlefield 1942. God, this was... 
Would this have been back during the the G four days? I seem to remember Battlefield nineteen forty two coming a lot coming up a lot on X play. Um, no, this would have been back in whatever it was before it was G four. God, oh Tech TV. Tech TV, you're absolutely right, my friend. And it was extended play. Oh my Jesus, god. Jesus fuck, I'm okay, ancient. So this is the other thing I was talking about. Like, in my mind, uh, I mean high school, sure. But like as we go on through the years here, some of these some of these memories, me playing these games, especially the ones that, you know, I played with you, it doesn't seem that long ago. But it was really But then you look at the ago. calendar and go, Oh, oh I guess it was yeah, like a decade ago. Shit. Holy shit. Oh man, I can't believe I fucking pulled extended play out. <laughs> I wasn't even watching back then. I didn't start watching until Leo Laporte's fucking call for help. They they sprung into G four and they had like three episodes. They looped twenty four seven. God, I missed you four. Damn it, Kevin Pereira and Olivia Munn. He does a podcast now. Yeah, he does. She's but... a movie star. No, she's not. Uh, she was in a major X Men's movie. Sure. <laughs> I can't even keep it up. Next, game. she's an actress. Yeah, I'll give her that. She's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so uh, that year I was playing Morrowind uh, still. Um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I played a lot of the Tony Hawk games. And uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. I am going to provide one, exactly one, uh, disclaimer for this list. This entire list is ha- is asterisk to the best of my recollection. Because yeah. as anyone who's talked at length with me about my childhood knows, I have an incredibly poor timeline on my childhood. I, I recognize that I have a lot of memories, but not many of them are fixed to date. Well, like, it's, you know, I think a lot of people are like that. If you really wanted to plot it out, you'd have to get some red string and a lot of photographs and news clippings, you know? Uh, so, like, I, there's, the reason we started in 2002 is literally 2001 and earlier I had listed as question marks. Because I could tell you a bunch of games I played, but I could not possibly pin them to a date for you. I could probably do a little better based on when the games were out and what I was doing at the time, but uh, I'm not going to make him go through that. And a lot of those years, you weren't cognitive, so... (laughs) No, because in 2002, I was 13. Yeah. Uh, Dating myself on the podcast, but there you go. Do the math. Um... Uh, also, uh, while the rest of the games uh, adhere, like the actual list games, adhere to a very strict must have been released that year list, if it hasn't already obvious, our selections are not. It's no. literally just what we were playing. Uh, to, to be fair, this year was Vice City. Yeah. Uh, I got it the year it came out because, again, my brother in law, he's going to get a lot of shout outs on this list, uh, bought it and then I played it because I was a child who didn't have a lot of good supervision. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I also had it. I, I think that Christmas I must have gotten it. So I, I might have played it more the next year. But uh, uh, honorable mention, because basically every year we play wrestling games, um, that was the year where No Mercy and uh, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth were popular, were the, were the hot games. Yep. We. Uh... I physically remember where I was during those times. That was... Man... Yeah, wow. Yeah, No Mercy. I played a shit ton of No Mercy. Uh, s- shut Your Mouth, Smackdown. That's the one with The Rock on it, right? Uh, yeah, was the last one with The Rock on it. Mm-hmm. Um, did that come out in 2002? Whatever, I was playing it. Um, 2003. Uh, we have at number five, Mario Kart Double Dash. Nope, never played that. Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker at number four. Never played that. That's right. That's right, nerds. Never played it. I haven't either, and I was the Nintendo kid. Uh, Need for Speed Underground on the PlayStation 2, I believe. I actually have played this. I haven't. It was fun. Was your need fulfilled? I got a lot of speed. All right. Uh, Pokemon. Velocity. A lot of not... Listen, my mom listens to this podcast. I know I had bad supervision when I was 13. I wasn't doing speed. No. Coke. Uh, Pokemon <laughs> Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> Never played that. I, that was my jam. <laughs> I played Sapphire uh, basically until I mentioned Pokemon again. <laughs> Starting then. That's how it works, yeah. really. Uh, and then Madden 2004 was number one. I don't think I've actually played that one. I think that's when we made the switch over to, to, cal- to college games. Uh, to NCAA. Before that one guy sued the NCAA games and made them stop making them. 
The uh, SimCity 4 was the PC game that year, as near as I could tell. I've played that as well. I haven't. Uh, I never really got into SimCity. I love The Sims, but sure. I never got into SimCity. SimCity is basically summon Godzilla in a tornado and see what happens. Get bored, left for an hour, leave. <laughs> I played the game on the SNES because I didn't get into PC gaming until like a couple of years ago. Well, probably at this point about a decade ago, but still. Um, I was probably playing a fair amount of The Sims this time, but I couldn't I couldn't nail that down for you time wise. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. Uh, I was also during this time playing a lot of borrowed uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball because I really like volleyball. Yes. I actually you, did a, a comic about it at the time. Because you really like volleyball. No, no, I, I did a comic about it because I used to do web comics, a uh, little sprite web comics, and I was talking with a friend who shall remain nameless. And, uh,. <laughs> I was like talking about how the volleyball physics were really fun and I like playing the casino games and the soundtrack was really chill so I just hang out in my basement all summer and just like you know play this game and he was like I like making them dress up like sluts <laughs> 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 uh, it was 2003 uh, it was a different time <laughs> where grandparents come from uh, but you my dude uh, oh no I was also playing more Morrowind and uh, Tony Hawk Underground we kept up on that you were uh, into the Soul Calibur 2? I was into the Soul Calibur 2, and I may need to make an addition to around about this time, given when it was released. Hold on. Um, I just realized that Halo and Halo 2, less so Halo 3, aren't on this list anywhere. Oh, they're on the, they're on the hits list. Mm. Um, they belong on my list as well. At the very Halo, I beat. But Halo 2, I beat on Legendary. That thing belongs on this list wherever it got released. Well, homeboy, next year, you are going to be in luck. Um, the WWE game that year is Here Comes the Pain. I was still playing No Mercy, and I also was playing Here Comes the Pain. Oh, yeah, also, I, I, I 100% in Soul Calibur 2. I beat that game top to bottom, left to right. I'd show you the save file, but I don't have it anymore. <laughs> 2003 was an interesting year for us. <laughs> we didn't even know each other. Uh, 2004, PlayStation pretty much dominated this, but uh, Microsoft, Xbox did have one good game uh, in the top five, excuse me. Uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. I have not played that. ESPN NFL 2K5. Probably haven't played that. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound familiar. Madden 2005. Nah, no, this was post the NCAA Switch. Uh, Halo 2. Is yeah, that basketball? that's... Um... No, no, it's just NCAA both. Oh, is it? Okay. I, I, it's one of the few sports things I know I, yeah, well, because of the video games. I've been alerted. Um, Halo 2 did come out in 2004. And I played it not in my house. I was at my other uh, sister's house. Uh, so I, the one who's not married to the brother-in-law I always mention. Um, she had an Xbox. She had Halo 2. I was there over a summer. I beat it on Legendary. I bought a shirt. I know. I remember that shirt. <laughs> I because remember, that was uh, fucking difficult. I remember, remember a lot of shit about that. <laughs> Good lord. Memories. Uh, number one was GTA San Andreas, which I also played. Uh, my opinion, and I haven't played the latest one, but that was probably the best Grand Theft Auto game. I like the aesthetic of Vice City more. I played a lot more Vice City. I didn't actually end up playing that much San Andreas. I only remember making CJ really buff and then really fat and then laughing. <coughs> I played it. I never got far in the plot, but I, I played oh, I don't, it a lot. Oh, neither did I. I don't think I've ever gotten far in the plot of any GTA game, because I'm never really trying to. Um, on PC in 2004, World of Warcraft and Sims 2 reign supreme. Good for them. Uh, this and was... It was weird. Let's see. This was during my PC gaming phase, but as you'll quickly find out about my PC gaming phase, new games were not what we played. <laughs> um, I was playing a lot of Knights of the Old Republic... Uh, SSX3, and Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Nice. I was playing a bunch of different PC games. The only one I'm really sure about is this is about when I started playing Fallout 2. And, like, other than that, you got some various shooters, you know, Quake, maybe Unreal Tournament if it was out by this point. Yeah, it was. Um, maybe Neverwinter Nights. Um... But the only one I'm really sure about is that this is when I started playing Fallout and Fallout 2. I've only listed Fallout 2 here because, as we mentioned in the Fallout podcast, I played a lot more of that than I did 1. Um, this is also the year we moved to SmackDown versus Raw as the WWE game. I remember 
I remember that being the year where I learned that release date and street date were two different things, and that was the case for about five or six years before companies wisened up. And, and realized, no, they shouldn't be <laughs> different things. So, good times. Good times there. Uh, 2005, our number five game, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Nice. Oh, here we are, NCAA Football 06. I wrote it down and I didn't even know. I have... I have played that game. Uh, Gran Turismo 4, I played that briefly. I, I played that briefly also. Yeah, that it's was... way too simulation-y for what me. What if cars weren't fun? What, well, I mean, cars aren't fun. <laughs> so that's how that works. Uh, what the fuck was that game I played? Some sort of um, magazines car game. I don't remember anymore. It was years after this. Uh, Pokemon Emerald also came out this year. I didn't have Emerald. Um, I only had so much spending money. That was number two, and Madden 06 was number one. It was, like, this is another funny thing. Watching how these games, you know, what is popular matured. Sports games were so predominant during these years. And uh, 2001 as well was still pretty much sports games. Um, and then it goes into shooters and, it, and Nintendo games. <laughs> Crazy shit. Um, on the PC, Guild Wars was released mm -hmm. and sold a bunch of copies. Haven't played that. No, I haven't played the original. Uh, I was playing uh, Night Steel Republic 2 on the Xbox and probably Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, but that was the last one I played. I didn't play it as much as the others. Mostly what I was playing was the uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. This is about when I started playing Diablo 2. Uh, Fallout 2 was still in rotation and Night Steel Republic on Xbox I, I beat the fuck out of that game, and I loved it. It was a good game. Uh, 2006. <laughs> 2006's uh, fifth place here is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter Mark. Advanced. Sorry, I spiked the mic by slamming the desk. He was going for a bit. And... I mean, just like that, the whole fucking, that was the name of the game. No, you want to know what the name of that game was? Advanced Warfare. No, it's Warfighter. Oh, this was Graw. Oh, no, it was. Oh, Tom Clancy games never have good names. <laughs> They're just so bad. Tom what? Clancy's Rainbow Six and the Good Time, Fun Time, Sunshine Band. <laughs> I mean, even right now, even right now, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six colon Siege is super popular. Tom Clancy, stop putting your name on shit. You're uh, dead. Why are you? You don't listen to the podcast. Unless... Tom Clancy's ghost listens to the podcast. He's Was he, he haunt should... Ultimo Dragon? Yeah, he should give us a thumbs up. <laughs> On his own account. Uh, Gears of War also dropped that year. That was a never, big game. Uh, no, you know what? That's wrong. I, I never played Gears of War 1. I have played Gears 2. That I might show up later in this Briefly played one of them. They're, they're kind of garbage. I didn't like it. <laughs> Not my kind of game. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 dropped. I played the first one. I never touched the second one. I've never touched a single Kingdom Hearts game. I've never like turned that. one on. Uh, new Super Mario Brothers. We played that. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? We played that. Not when, not right when it came out, but we no. played that. Mm -hmm. And then number one spot, Madden NFL 07. This was uh, the year before I met you. This was the the last year before before our friendship started. Yep. Um, the PC release that year was Oblivion. Yeah, that was the big seller. Um, and uh, spoilers, I played that game. Uh, <laughs> uh, this was during my first marriage. Um, I remember I was still playing KOTOR 2 around then. Uh, I've never actually beaten KOTOR 2. Something always happens to my save file. Um, you should play it on PC. Give me ten dollars. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, but I was also playing a lot of uh, Snake Eater. I remember renting it, and it was just really cool. Like this, I have this very vivid memory of being alone in my living room in the small hours. It's completely dark, like black, because where I live, there's not a lot of street lights, especially where I lived at that time. And uh, going through the river with all the ghosts of the guys you killed throughout the game, mm -hmm. just fantastic. Just like. God, I bet you that river's boring if you haven't killed anyone. Yeah. Yes, it is. 
I haven't experienced it firsthand. Oh, I, I just, stopped playing I Snake know. Eater because... You were doing the difficult boss stuff, and you got to... Uh, I wanted the extra rewards, and I got to the I fear, and he kept it. eating fruits, and it yeah. was just too frustrating. The fear was a tough fight I, with, with that. I mean, I could have killed him really easily. Sure. But... No, I agree. But I, and I did it. eating fruits. I, I did it, and he wouldn't stop eating fruit on me either. It took me forever, but I felt accomplished, so... Um, for me, I was still... This was Diablo 2, and then KOTOR 2. I played that on PC. Um, and it was, uh, this was... The next few years with uh, WWE games are kind of predictable as their SmackDown vs. Raw uh, next year. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I don't know who started that fucking trend, but I hate it. I even hate it now. Really? The, it being the year after its release. Well, name. because it drops like really late in the year. and So wait a couple months, release it in January, and stop giving me OCD. <laughs> Pricks. <laughs> Yeah, but then they wouldn't get those sweet, sweet December numbers. Uh, and the Black Friday sales. Grumble, especially grumble. Especially when you drop a shitty game. Grumble, gram. 2007. Super Mario Galaxy. I played that. My mom got that. I played that. Uh, your mom's Wii. <laughs> Guitar Hero 3. I played the shit out of that. I haven't really played that. Yeah, that was... that was, You didn't... That was right around when you uh, showed up, was that December. And in the next year, you didn't play too much of that one. You didn't get in until Rock Band. Yep. Um, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Ooh, get ready to hear that. Get ready to hear Call of Duty a lot, yeah. everybody. <laughs> um, we Play. I don't think I've ever played We Play. I don't think I've... I don't even I know, played, I know what the fuck um, that is. the original Wii Sports. A is lot, it like the, the Wii Sports sequel, the sequel or something? I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking know what that is. And then uh, Halo 3. Um, I beat Halo 3, but I didn't... I, I tried to beat it on Legendary, but I got to the part with the Flood, and I just gave up. That's really easy to do. <laughs> that's, that's, it's really easy to give up. That's, like, like it was that one dark you're... enclosed space where all, you have to fight all the tiny little Flood, and, like, you were telling me about some mechanic at the time, you might have been bullshitting me, I don't know, but where, like, there's only certain ones that you're supposed to kill that actually matter, but there's basically no way to tell which ones the fuck. I be- I don't remember doing this, but I doubt I, I don't think I would have been bullshitting you about that. I don't know, man. Because like it was to, one of those things that you like to fund me. <laughs> but it's like fucking. It's probably one of those things I learned beating Halo Two on Legendary. <laughs> sure. I got far though. I mean, I, I've got to say, I was pretty impressed with myself. Um, I played it on uh, normal because I. I, I just spent my time in the trenches. Fuck it, I just want to play the game. Well, we played a lot of multiplayer of Halo in, in the years following, too. Mm-hmm. Um, a, lot of, a lot of time spent in Forge mode. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, Crisis was uh, big on PC that year. Ah, yes. The, the thing that was the benchmark for for graphics for so long. It, that's true. That's all I remember about it. I couldn't Can tell you it kind of run it Crisis? Could not tell you. Um... Played a lot of Guitar Hero 3 through 2007, honestly, because mm. I got it for Christmas, like I said. And uh, I started playing Pokemon Sapphire again that year because I remember where I was working, and uh, I remember playing a lot of Pokemon Sapphire there. But you, my friend. Yes, this was the year of um, Oblivion. Yeah, I was still playing that. Uh, That's right around when I got my Xbox 360. Yep. Soul Calibur 3. And then Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Yes, we did play a lot of Soul Calibur three and a lot of Marvel. Um, a lot of we played so much Marvel Ultimate Alliance that there are literally jokes that go around our house occasionally now about that playthrough of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I remember a day when we were playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance. We were so excited. We dropped money on the DLC characters. Uh, DLC was a fun thing back then. Uh, children, please gather around the fire, because we didn't have constant internet hooked up to the Xbox, so we had to, like, physically switch the cord over from the router to the Xbox, from the computer to the Xbox, and log in and download the DLC and then switch it back over. You know what else was fun about DLC? Hmm. We, we dropped money to get the new characters for the for the DLC, and then they came and they were on the game instead of uh, we paid money to f- grab sev- several blind boxes and open them for the chance to get the character. That's right, that's my old man yells at Cloud uh, for this podcast. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that just goes away. Probably not this year, but I'm hoping next year it gets bad enough that that just goes away. But anyway, uh, the end of that story was we got the DLC. I was so excited to play Sabretooth. I forget who you were playing, Doctor Strange maybe, or Doom. Um, Either of those sounds right. And uh, the power went out. 
and I remember Brandy angrily calling the electric company because both of us were having a little shit fit. <laughs> Plus, money was tight back then, so we were like, meh, 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 meh. You know how people are. Uh, 2008. Call of Duty World at War. Uh, quick side note. Fun fact about that story. I remember it, but until he started telling me the story, and, and this isn't one of those things where my brain filled it in like, yeah, that totally happened, yep. I remembered the rest of the story once he started saying it. If he hadn't, I would not have recalled that. I that remember, because we used to run all. the, uh, I guess it was a time trial or a challenge or something in um, Asgard, uh, where you had to fight, like, waves of mooks, mm -hmm. and at the end you fought, was it Curse? No, I think it was, like, it was one of the Frost Giants, right? Because it was no, a quick dumbbell. No, 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 no. It was, no, you're thinking about another game. It was, I am. It was either Curse or, um... The other guy from the second Thor movie. Malekith. Yeah. No, nah, it wasn't him. It was Curse. <laughs> um, yeah, that was uh, that was nuts. We we played the shit out of that specific level. It was fun. But uh, 2008, Call of Duty World of War is number five. Um, it's interesting to see how like PlayStation dominated. Even when the Xbox was out, like it wasn't in the top five until 2004 when we got Halo 2. Now... Xbox is kind of taking over a lot of real estate. Because mm -hmm. uh, we've also got uh, GTA 4, specifically the Xbox version. Uh, to play the little GTA 4, I think we both did. I played the storyline up until like a mi couple missions in when you meet the Irish family. And then I stopped, and I was glad to find out that everything after that was ridiculously depressing. So I end on happy note. <laughs> I played a couple missions until, I, until my brain sussed out, you want to stop. This isn't going anywhere you want to follow. Yeah. I think GTA 4 had a lot of fun stuff, but, like, that was around that time where I started to realize that when I play open world games, I don't accomplish anything. <laughs> GTA paralysis, man. Um, it's real. A uh, game both of us played a lot that year, Smash Brothers Brawl. Shit, a game that should honestly be on both our lists. Now, we I, so I much. left it over there because I knew it was going to come up. I actually went over to my mom's house and stayed over there for a couple of nights. Just to play brawl, I we we would play. We hung out a lot at his mom's house for parties. We hung out a lot at his mom's house just to hang out there, and we played brawl a lot. Uh, we fit and Mario Kart Wii take the two in one spot respectively. Uh, I played a little bit of Mario Kart Wii, not as much as I would have liked. Um, I played a lot of Mario Kart on the SNES back when I was a kid, and a little bit of N sixty four because I had to like rent it. I didn't own it. Um, but man, yeah, Mario Kart on the SNES, that was that was years of entertainment right there. Uh, the big PC release was Spore, which we, we both eventually played a fair amount of, Yeah, we, we years did. later. Yeah, years later, and it was basically just... I mean, look, look, I, I'm sure they didn't mean to make uh, make a walking penis simulator, but that's what they made. The, there's a, there's, that, that game gets increasingly shitty the further you get. The first bit is great. I finally, like, two years ago, got to the part where you're, like, flying around space and doing shit. So boring. It is the worst thing imaginable. Like, the tribal stage isn't even that bad. It's a, kind of a clunky interface, but it's not that bad. It's interesting. But space can fuck right off. Like, I like I like the idea of Mind Spore, and that first game mode is fucking yeah. really good. Well, the second one is good, too. Second one's the animal stage? Yeah, pretty the good. animal stage, yeah. And then it just gets bad. Yeah, it's not as good. But I made a lot of really lovable dick beasts as well. So um, that year, I was mostly playing Mega Man Nine and Rock Band. Uh, like, and actually, not just a Mega Man Nine came out. I really like Mega Man. So I'm gonna mention it. No, I I played that game a lot. I didn't quite 100 percent it, but I got a lot of the achievements. I played a lot of Rock Band too. Not nearly as much as you, really. No, I was I was. Um, because that year was the year Mass Effect came out. <laughs> yeah, we had GameFly. Um, well, no, that actually was the year after Mass Effect came out, but I got it on Gamefly, and i am told this story on the podcast, I'm sure I'll tell it a thousand times more, that was the game I liked so much I forgot to eat. Yeah, because you also played Assassin's Creed that year, but it wasn't as, um... Didn't stick. Food depriving. None of the Assassin's Creed games are anywhere on this list. Nope, that's not true. There's one. Yeah, there, there is one. Uh, and I played a lot of the Assassin's Creed games. I, I, I played... You know, you played a lot of, um... 
and it, it isn't on this list, but you played a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed 2. I played a lot of 2, a lot of Brotherhood, but not so much that they dominated my year. Other games did, mm, until one yeah. specific Assassin's Creed game. Uh, we also played a lot of Soul Calibur 4 that year. Uh, yep. It was a fun, fun game. Yes. It is a fun game. We played it again recently, I believe. Yeah, we might have. Uh, 2009, uh, Pokemon Platinum came out. Um, I didn't play Platinum ever. Uh, Halo 3 ODST. Yeah, that happened. We had that too. Again, we mostly just played Forge Mode. I think one of us. We did. had ODST? Yeah, man. I I've was never played it. No, 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 no. You totally did. That was the one that had uh, Nathan Fillion in it. No, dude. Was that Reach? No, no. I no. I believe that we had it. And that's the one with Nathan Fillion in it. I've never played that. No, yeah, dude. Because you beat it. No. <laughs> Unless I'm mixing it up with Reach. Because that's you the one where they... You have to be. Where they all, like, have their big last stand at the end. No, that's Reach. That one's Reach? Yeah. Okay. ODST. Is the one with Nathan Fillion in it. But I have never played that game. Well, you at least played the Forge mode, because we played it together. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> New Super Mario Brothers. Wii, we haven't played. I'd love to. It looks fun. Uh, Wii Sports Resort. And a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Have... <laughs> I've played Modern Warfare 3, and I played Black Ops for a minute. They weren't good. I'm sorry that you like a game that's not good. <laughs> uh, I'd say the numbers don't lie, but I know some of the other numbers on this list it didn't go so well. But uh, Sims 3 was the big PC game that year, and we did play an okay amount of Sims 3. Yeah. I, I spent a lot of time designing houses and shit. I would say it would be on Brandy's list. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, but not not either of ours. Uh, I mostly filled my time that wasn't playing other older games with Rock Band 2 during this time. Also a lot of what uh, Boy has on his list here. God, this was a good year. This was a good year for video games, you guys. This year, I had so many games that I just couldn't take off my... I couldn't not have on my list because I played so much of them. And that starts, and should really end, with the beast that consumed large chunks of my life this year, World of Warcraft. Yeah, I didn't get as into WoW when you did. Like, we went in, like, waves. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I did start playing it that year as well. Uh but uh, beyond that, that was the year I played Dragon Age Origins, which is so good. I still think mechanically it might be the best, dra best Dragon Age game. Um, I'd have to go back and play it to be sure that it's not just nostalgia, but I, I think I still might hold that opinion. Uh, you might have to go back and play it. Um, this was the year that we played Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, which I don't think either of us liked as much as the first one. No, but we like specifically took a couple days off of work. Because we were so game. hype. Yeah. Um, and we beat the shit out of it. Uh, we this was the year that Fallout that I started playing Fallout Three, which was uh, just wasn't the same game, but it was a game I really liked and it felt and like it reminded me of Fallout, which made me happy. And then there was Arkham Asylum that game that year, which was just mm, a fucking plus, dude. Just a plus, the best way I've ever seen to break a curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I played most of those games as well. Uh, not Dragon Age Origins, as much surprise you. I didn't quite... I was the one who actually asked to get that game, and then, like, Brandy took it. <laughs> <laughs> what actually happened was I, I played it a little bit. <clears throat> one of the first places I went was a Mage Tower, and I hated it so much that I had to walk away. Um, so 2010, uh, spoilers, when I played Dragon Age Origins, but the number five game was Madden NFL 11. Number four was Super Mario Galaxy 2, which I've played but not as much of. Um, and this starts an interesting trend at number three, Just Dance 2 on the Wii. Halo Reach. That's the one that we played a bunch of, the multiplayer. And I don't know if we played as much of that one, because I think our interest started petering off and they changed shit. Yeah, that's when we had to jump packs and yeah. shit. Uh, and the number one game was Call of Duty Black Ops. Okay. Or Call of Duty Black Cops. No, that'd be a much cooler game. Yeah. I would play Carl Winslow in a video game. That'd be sick. Uh, Civ V, a game I didn't get into until December and uh, January of last year, dropped in 2010. Yep. That, that's when that happened. 
that's a that's like a six year old game when we started playing it. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, and uh, I was playing Mega Man Ten a lot that year, as well as World of Warcraft, and uh, a couple of things on the boys list here. Yeah, uh, Fallout Three continues strong into this year, um, along with the Beast Incarnate, World of Warcraft. That bitch took my life down to Suplex City a couple times. I petered off on Fallout 3. I, I played um, a bit of it, but I, I didn't finish it until years later. And then Mass Effect 2. Which is the Mass Effect I jumped on with. Because Mass Effect 1 didn't look fun to him because he probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> I tried to play it a couple of times. Didn't care for it. Mass Effect 2, you can date Garrus. So. <laughs> uh, 2011. <laughs> Actually, march on through time. Battlefield 3 at number 5. And these are all Xbox. Like, PlayStation is gone. Off the, the top list. Yeah, we'll tell you when PlayStation comes back. It's in a couple years. Yeah. Uh, Gears of War 3. 2, I guess, was not as good. Uh, Just Dance 3 on the Wii. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pokemon Black and White. Nope. I, I did play this game, but not this year. This was, like... <sighs> I'm trying to find the last time that I played a game... That was on this list. That was on the actual top list. I think it's the. I think it's next year. No, the year after next. Uh, the year after next is the last time that I played a game f- to, for any length of time that was on this list. Um, and then number one was Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Three. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you know what? I tell a lie. Right there. This is the rele- year Minecraft released. Neither of us got into Minecraft until later. Um, you played it a bit, maybe. Yeah. But like, neither of us got into it until Paul Soares Jr. Um, put out his instructional videos on how to play Minecraft. No, I, I got into it more before that, because I got into it. I remember the exact time that I got into it, which was when uh, Penny Arcade did a strip about Minecraft. About how uh, the joke was they figured out the game and what it was. And then one of them goes, oh, oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, uh, I avoided it a lot for a long time for that reason. Brandy continues to avoid it to this day for that reason. And I got into some trouble. But, but like, you tried it out and then I, I vividly remember you behind my computer uh, in your red chair with your little tray and your little laptop. Playing Minecraft and mm-hmm. listening to Paul Soros Jr. tell you how the fuck to play a Minecraft. Yeah, I got into it a little bit, and then that that really kicked it off. And then I got into it a couple years after. Um, in fact, I think I have it slotted on the list here somewhere when I played it the most. Uh, Rock Band th- Rock Band Three came out the year prior, uh, toward the end of the year, I believe. So most of playing that happened in I, 2011. Anytime you're a rock band, assume I played a bunch of it because we play it together. Yeah, a 2011 lot. and 2012. Um, Really strong rock band. Oh, game. God, yeah. 2011. Another good gear for games. Uh, and uh, I played a lot of the games on Boys List as well. Mm hmm. This was the year that Dragon Age 2 happened. Yes, I the played too much of that. Oft, the oft maligned middle child of the Dragon Age games. Fuck you, I like it. Um, you unprofessional bin. Do you want to know what that important fucking Final Fantasy VI magic noise was? It was a dumb thing that, for some reason, my phone gives me every day at 6 a.m., which, when we're recording this, is what the high and low today is supposed to be. You unprofessional bin. I do not give a shit about that. I don't know why it sends it to me, and I keep forgetting to turn it off. Uh, you were saying, before I so rudely interrupt you, uh, World of Warcraft, I believe? Uh, yeah, with, again, the monster had not been slain No, yet. hell no. We were still riding that high. Um... And then Fallout New Vegas. Oh, sweet, sweet Fallout New Vegas. As the years march on, I get more and more fond of that game. It was so good. And this was the year also of Arkham City. And the... uh, When I finally... The the year I lost patience with the Riddler. (laughs) Yeah... Well, we'll get back to him in Arkham Knight. I, I did a lot of stuff in Arkham City. I never did the Riddler, but I did find Black Mask's secret message. That was pretty cool. Which is cool. Uh, this was also the year that the WWE game switched from SmackDown vs. Raw to WWE 
to twelve. Yeah, and then they they kept that for a couple of years, and before they adopted the two K label. Well, because they switched to two K games. Yeah, but uh, this was a good year. This was a good year. This Hell was, yeah! As you may notice, two thousand eleven is missing a specific name, but that's because we didn't play it until twenty twelve. Really. Um. Well, well, you'll get there. Oh, I, I will get there. I guess. Uh, twenty twelve. Starts off with Madden NFL 13. Mm-hmm. Ass is Red 3. Which I played, much like as, 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 Ass is Red. Now, I tried to say Assassin's Creed, and you that meme is so strong. I it's stopped, powerful. I failed twice, and then had to say the meme. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3, I played along with Brotherhood, and 2, and 1. And 3 is where I stopped giving a fuck about the series plot, because 3 is where they shot the plot in the fucking face. So. Two, 2, you played a lot. Yeah, two maybe should belong on yeah. this list somewhere of of the games I played. Uh, not even two. It was Brotherhood. It was, was Brotherhood. It, Brotherhood? it was okay. Brotherhood. I played. I just a lot. remember Italian peasants. Yeah, it um, was Brotherhood. I played a lot. I played through two. It was okay. Brotherhood was the birth of the Der Horse meme. Oh, Der Horse. Uh, Assassin's Creed Three was the one where they uh, Metal Gear Two you right. Yeah, where you get to play as cool ass Hatham Kenway for like yeah. half an hour, and then you got to play Renekton for the rest. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, I like Renekton personally. Rana Hadagan, we can say it. It's a meme. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, <laughs> like I can say the name. I can say a lot of those words, but it's funny to say stupid. Calm stuff. down, pale face. I'm allowed to make memes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'm the pale face, so I have to establish myself. Whatever native I have in me is not enough for anything. Uh, but Just Dance Four was at number three. This is the last year of Just Dance. Stop dancing. The the dance the last year of the Just Dance fucking dynasty at yeah, number three. Yeah, three years at number three. Uh, this was the year of Halo 4, the first Halo game I just straight up haven't played. Uh, well, no, I suppose ODST also, but I don't really count that. It's a spin-off. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Yeah. Uh, this was also the year where Diablo 3 sold a bunch of units, and... And I believe that's largely for the World of Warcraft uh, incentive thing. It's literally the only reason I bought it. Um, well, I bought it twice because it's actually not bad on consoles. Disagree. But it, it took a couple years to get decent. Disagree. <sighs> Diablo it is three. not pure mana from heaven. No it, matter how many yells you put into it, it will never be good enough. It, it, is it ever going to be Diablo 2? 59 FPS. It's not proper. <laughs> <laughs> we love oh. you, Biscuit Bear. Uh, I was playing this year uh, Hotline Miami, and this is when League of Legends began consuming my soul. We also played Soul Calibur Five, although not as much as the other Caliber Souls. This was the year of Skyrim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we both decided that would go on the... But honestly, I played a shit ton of it in 2011. That was like... But, like, just November and December, Yeah, though. but, like, I squeezed a lot of time. <laughs> well, so did I. But then, like, from January until, I don't know, December 2012, <laughs> there was so much... Skyrim, I honestly... I, partially it was funds. It was money. Partially it was uh, Mists of Pandaria dropping. But I think, honestly, it might have been Skyrim that finally slayed the beast. Maybe. It might have been Skyrim that was so much Roman Reigns and, and Superman punched World of Warcraft well, out of know, my fucking life. Another part of it was you were really high on the auction houses on our server. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I remember you, like, realized what a new expansion was going to mean for your enterprise. And you were gonna- like... It was going to crash my fucking yeah. market, man. I, so I have to walk away. I can't do this. Um, I can't I can't grind up to max and get good gear and go farm again. I can't. I, I was can't. also playing all of those games. Mass Effect 3 was fantastic. Um, Mass Effect 3 was fantastic. I've never gone back and played the extended ending. No, I played the DLC. I, I yeah, loved I, the I DLC. I played the last DLC. It was really good. I don't really... like. I know that a lot of people don't like the Mass Effect 3 ending. And I'm not... I'm Like... I think it, it was wasn't a great ending. the best ending in the world. No, it was a good ending for that game. I don't think it was the best ending in the world. But I will say that I have never felt the need to go back and beat it for the extended ending. Sure. Well, and you know, like, people bitch, but Final Fantasy VII is often regarded as one of the greatest games of all time. Mm. A lot of idiots say it's the greatest Final Fantasy of all time. Mm. The ending of that game is bullshit. Yes. 
<laughs> but people will decry this Mass Effect ending that tried to give us a resolution, but the end of Final Fantasy VII where some people wave and then Red Thirteen maybe runs past some ruins with his dog buddies? Yeah, that's fine. Great. A-plus ending. Sure answers a lot of fucking questions. Just a difference in the level of entitlement nerds feel. Yeah. Um, so, next year. Next year, 2013. Battlefield 4. That's a war game. I've never fucking touched it. Um, PlayStation finally makes its return. The with, glorious return of PlayStation! With The Last of Us. Uh, uh, the last game on this list I've played for any length of time. Oh yeah, it was Pokemon XY. I beat Pokemon XY. Yeah. I played it the following year, I believe. I actually played the post game of Pokemon XY to a to a, a, a lot. Yeah, that's cool. I did too because that's where I was farming my uh, my my living decks, which is presently incomplete because I don't have the new the new games. But uh, I don't want them because they're stupid. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts was number two. And Grand Theft Auto V, the Grand Theft Auto I haven't played, but like, man, the clips sure make me laugh, uh, was number one that year. Everyone fucking loves Five. It's got, it, it's, it seems interesting, but like, I don't know when I would play it. Yeah, same. Like, yeah. That's, that's, see, it, you know what? I'm glad it exists. It seems like it's less depressing than Four. But I pass that, I'm, I'm good. I don't have time for it in my life. I have other things I want to do. Um, Rust was the PC game. I've never played Rust. Maybe. And in fact, in 2013, I have no idea what I played. Lol. I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, I it know. It was mostly League of Legends. Yeah, and I'd started a new job that year, and it was taking up a lot of my time. And I, I do remember playing League of Legends and other games, but I don't think anything took up as much time as League of Legends did. Like, it was absolutely lol. It's probably Skyrim as well. Honestly. Yeah, probably because my list this year is lol and Skyrim and the lol. WWE game. The other thing which helped, which which helped me, the other methadone which helped me kick World of Warcraft. Hell yeah, dude. Um, so into 2014, where Mario Kart 8 was uh, number five slot, Destiny happened. Yeah, wow. That 2014, like it. It seems like Destiny was last year. Well, well, did, well, 2016. They, they did me. do a new one. Right, no, I, I mean, I meant 2016. We're still pretty fresh into the new year, even though it's February. Um, but it felt like it was more recent than that. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, um, the newest version, we played we that played on the DS Wii a lot. We and on Wii U. Yeah. Um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Or not Wii, but DS something. Yeah, DS is in the, in the Wii U. And uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, which I played the following year, because I got it. I didn't play that. No, that's, you don't need. Uh, I know. Sims 4 also dropped that year. We haven't touched that because nope. it's garbage. Apparently. Um, most of what I played that year was the most noteworthy things, I guess, because I even kind of dropped off on League of Legends during this time, um, was They Bleed Pixels, Shovel Knight, and Minecraft. That's I, I also really... started to drop off League. I played a lot of League here, but I started to drop off in favor of other games. Games such as... Um, Tom <laughs> Thank you for seeing that when I <laughs> gotta raid them toms. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! I can't give you that joke, listener. That joke just has to be for me, oh. Tom Raider. <laughs> oh god! No! Okay, I have to move past the meme, otherwise I'm just gonna start doing a really do meme. a different meme. Do a meme about the first one. All right, all right, all right, all right. So uh, Tomb Raider, which I honestly only played for about twenty hours. But I love the new Tomb Raider reboot so much that I want it on this list solely so I can crow about how great it is and so I can talk about how they're doing a live-action reboot of Tomb Raider the movie and they're doing the storyline from this game. Yeah! I'm gonna watch that shit. Um, anyway, the other thing I played a lot that, this year was Dragon Age Inquisition. I played a fuckload of Inquisition. Mm -hmm. I have 100-plus hours in that game, and I 100%ed it. That's um, I, I played a lot of it. Including all, like, the stupid booze bottles everything I got everything in that game um, and then uh, the game that he's written something here I don't know what that is I played Pirate Simulator 2014 um, <laughs> which is actually how you remembered that you played it in 2014 because yes. the game came out in 2013 yeah um, 
Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now, remember earlier when I said I stopped caring about the Assassin's Creed games plots in Assassin's Creed 3? That's true. I played Assassin's Creed Black Flag and played as little of the plot as they made me in order to get all the upgrades from my pirate ship. And then I was a pirate listening to sea shanties. So much so that both Eric and Brandy hate this game because I because they got so tired of hearing the sea shanties. I would love to pick it up and play it a little bit, but like I know I'd get about two shanties in and be like, I can't. Triggered. Just, hashtag triggered. Just walk away. You can make them stop singing. Right? I know, but they're so jolly. They are. They are, you soulless bastard. Well, that was that it was that one period of time where you only had like two shanties. Well, that was only the beginning of the game. Yeah. But anyway, uh, this is actually also noteworthy Running because... Running down to Cuba, man. Running down to Cuba. <laughs> this is the first time since WWF Warzone that I did not own. And that was like 96. Oh, yes, yeah, because this was the Gen Jump. Yes, that I did not own the main series WWE game, which was WWE 2K15 with John Cena on the cover. They jumped to the next generation of consoles. And they... lost like three quarters of their features. Yeah. It was not a good year, so I, I finally had to give it a pass, and that was rough. But So we were still playing 2K14 when we were playing wrestling games. Uh, 2015. Our, our number five here is Madden NFL 16 on the PlayStation. Nah. Fallout 4 on the PlayStation. Oh, shit. Now, see, I've lied so many times on this list just because I, I don't read the heads of the list. you're a filthy liar. Oh, that too. But I, I did end up playing... me that I, thing about Halo. I <laughs> did end up... You motherfucker, I have not played ODST. I was talking about the flood, but... Uh. Um, but uh, I can either confirm nor deny whether or not I was fucking with you there. Um, but I have played a bunch of Fallout 4. I didn't realize that was on the top sales yeah, list. Man, that yeah. did really well. I was surprised You that... know why I didn't notice it? Because it was the PlayStation colors. And oh, yeah. I haven't played the PlayStation regularly since PS2. Same. Um, uh, Halo 5 Guardians is the number three slot. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront was in the number two slot. That sure was a great game. Sold so well. And uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, this time Carl's Back for Revenge, was number one. Uh, the PC releases that were notable that year that for high sales were Life is Strange, which I haven't played. And uh, good Sim City. <laughs> and speaking of city skylines, I said what I meant. Um, <laughs> that year for me, uh, probably in addition to shit that's on your list, uh, I played um, Dropsy, which I'm only mentioning because I only played five hours of it, but like, still one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, so it fucking it stays. I, I, I bought the Dropsy Plush. And normally I don't shill for big companies like this, but this ain't a big company. You give Jay Tholen your money. You go buy from the Devolver Digital Store. They're a good publisher. They publish good games. And you they get do your, wacky shit. They do wacky shit. And just, they're crazy motherfuckers, and I love them. So, drop seeds. Good stuff. Hug them, hug them all moist and damp. Uh, I also played Undertale. As frustrated as I was with that game, it was a fucking experience. And it took up a good chunk of my year. I declined the experience. Uh, and like I said, Nuzlocks. But uh, also, Fallout 4. Yep, Fallout 4 is on mentioned. my list, yep. which uh, I got played Fallout 4, beat Fallout 4, uh, played a whole bunch of Fallout 4, and then immediately went back and played Fallout New Vegas again. <laughs> yeah, you went back and finished those DLCs. Uh, not just that. No, no. I went back and started a whole new character. I can't. I started a whole new character and played the whole game, all the DLCs, again. I actually never finished New Vegas, and I've never done um, God, the DLC. The, uh, like, the Old World Blues DLC is so good. I've heard it's so good, but, like, I am in this horrible nexus where I both remember too much and not enough that I can't go back to my old save or start a new one. Gotta give it a few more years to cool off. I suppose so. And this was Arkham Knight, uh, otherwise known as a really, really, really good Batman game that had a fucking really shitty Batmobile game stapled onto it. Did we sell that? I hope so. <laughs> I, uh... I'm never fucking going back to play it. I intended to go back and at least give Professor Pig and Man Bat their due, but... That car, man. I, I, I played every... I literally beat everything in that game... Except the Riddler. I... Because I just... Um, I was out of patience for Enigma's horse shit. Even... And he's responsible for all the car bullshit. Even the... 
like the car fighting sections against uh, the Arkham Knight. I, I or the car fighting that. sections against. Uh, if you beat the Arkham Knight and you haven't finished the car tank sections, uh, it replaces him with Deathstroke. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, and then you beat Deathstroke at the end by punching him in his face, which is great because Deathstroke's a smug prick. Like I said, I beat everything in that game except the Riddler. The Riddler can stay in his stupid Riddler hole. I'm done. He's useless. Uh, but this was also the year WWE 2K16. We came back. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good game. They brought their features back. Yeah. <laughs> Um, 2016, Madden NFL 17, Madden still going strong, uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on the Xbox, as well as Battlefield 1 on the Xbox. Um, um, I have to confess a lack of knowledge, the entry I have here is Uncharted on the PlayStation 4. I'm pretty sure that game came out like five years before then, so this is like maybe a remaster, but I know Lost Legacy is like the remaster collection, I don't know what the hell it is. There's an Uncharted game. Yeah. Nathan uh, Drake did a thing here. Or someone related to him. Na- um, the person who I, in my brain, scratch out and write, why is not Laura Toomer? Uh, why is not, why is not Laura to- Why is not Tom Raider? <laughs> why is not Tom Raider? Why is not Laura Croft? Good God, why is Nathan Drake's name not Tom Raider? <laughs> because they don't want to get sued. You couldn't. It's a perfectly cromulent name. No, it isn't. Stop it. Um, but yeah, no, why is this not Laura Croft? Why isn't this the Tomb Raider? Why aren't these Tomb Raider games wasting my fucking time with this stupid bullshit? Uh, number one was Pokemon Sun and Moon, which I did play. I played some. Yeah, you did. I didn't like it as much as X and Y. No, it's not as good. <laughs> I, I I could talk for a long time about how I feel about the Pokemon series overall. Um, but God, I bore the shit out of the boy and I don't want him to nap on me. It is late. Uh... That is a very real possibility. PC games, Seven Days to Die, I don't know what the fuck that is, and Stardew Valley, which I actually did play the shit out of. This was uh, also the genesis of Brave Exvius, which I have not stopped playing Hmm. since I started. And that was 2016, so it's been a while. And this was also the year of Overwatch, and I'm really surprised Overwatch's sales were not high enough to make the top five. It's it has a long tail of sales is the difference. Maybe and maybe because like they were stretched out over three platforms. Mm-hmm. It's three platforms and so on and so forth. It's, sure. it's still big. Um, uh, for me, it was Skyrim and Marvel Heroes this year. Uh, I was also playing Marvel Heroes. It was some Overwatch, but Overwatch for me was really like my big Overwatch was the beginning of this year, which we'll get to later, but. Uh, I went real soon actually. <laughs> I went uh, I went back and played Skyrim. You may notice Skyrim showed up on this again because I got a brand new PC. So uh, to have fun and test it out, I went back and played Skyrim on the PC because I played it on the console because up until this point Elder Scrolls games were console games to me because it's where I played Mo- the Morrowind that I played and it's where I played Oblivion. So it would uh, Skyrim was a console game. But I have been year, spent years watching PC and all the delicious mods and all the fun shit. And I had a brand new computer. So I went and I bought Skyrim on the PC and I downloaded I downloaded fucking so many mods that my brand new computer could barely run it. And I played the fuck out of it. It was a great time. You know, my experience I have 100 mods, hours on the PC version of Skyrim. Good lord. My experience with mods has not been that positive. Like, every now and then there's some good ones, but... You gotta be willing to, like... You gotta be willing to fucking tinker a little bit. You gotta be yeah, willing to and get under like, the hood. There's also an extra layer of suspension of disbelief because some of these mods aren't applied as universally, shall we say. They're not professionally made DLC. Yeah, so, so you gotta you gotta be willing to like extend you gotta be willing to extend it a little bit of goodwill and you gotta be willing to tinker a bit. They're fun. I'm not gonna say they're not, but they're if I not... went back and played it on on PC again, which I'm not ruling out um, I would have to strip and just do a whole new set of mods. I uh, it, when Elder Scrolls Six comes out, I will still play it on the console. I will probably I will probably buy a separate copy on PC. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I don't know that I can go back. And this brings us to last year, 2017, which we already talked about our favorite games of 2017 in our mm-hmm. 2017 year in review podcast. Mm-hmm. But shut the fuck up. Let's do it again. Uh, <laughs> number five best selling was Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation. Uh, number four, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is just Mario Kart 8 with a couple of other features. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, which I did play briefly, not didn't get through. I played briefly. This was, um, you know, I'll talk about it when I get to my games. 
Uh, number two, Super Mario Odyssey, which is incredible because it was released like just a couple of months ago. Dude, that game moved fucking you. Yeah, it, everyone it, wanted like, to play that. Uh, the uh, and the, everyone's like, "Oh my god, it's the second coming of Super Mario 64." Like, that's a compliment. Super Mario 64 was a good game, and if you can make <laughs> at the time, if you can make a game that is as good with modern uh, gameplay and and features and shit mm-hmm. as that game was at the time, then you have really got something. Um, yeah, between that and Breath of the Wild, the Switch really, like, cemented itself as a major player. Mm-hmm. Uh, it basically knocked Xbox the fuck off the top five. Which, like, I think it sold shit. We, I, I didn't double up on shit in here because that's stupid. Whatever sold more he got picked the, the one where it sold the yeah. most. Um, and then number one was uh, Call of Duty World War Two. Call of Duty, going back to the... Roots. Actually, that's probably a fucking lie. I believe number one was the PC slot. Yeah, in terms of overall sales, number one was our PC release for 2017, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, otherwise known as I got a bunch of Unity assets and I stole an idea from a couple popular series, smashed them together, and now I claim proprietary rights over the whole concept. Prick. <laughs> I'd be a lot more interested if uh, old player unknown wasn't quite such a dickhead. Uh, I have a, I have Fortnite on the Xbox. I haven't played it yet, but Fortnite I might. is good. Fortnite is fun. Fortnite is not something I'm good at. Turns out, I'm getting old. When we went to that gamer bar the other night, he he almost beat me in Tekken tag tournament. The thing that I was the the thing that taught me Tekken, the the game that I was fucking unstoppable at. Homie, I I did beat you. And then you schooled me in Street Fighter 2. Oh, that's right, that's right. I beat you in Street Fighter 2, you beat me in Tekken, because we're both ancient now. I guess. We just dust shooting uh, out of but us at all like, I was unstoppable at that game. I didn't drop, not just games, I didn't drop a round at that game Yeah, when I was good at it. Man, I am not suited to a fucking fight stick. And it's like, just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I got so ancient. Well, and I, I found this out, you know, when we were playing. Um, so slow. Because I used to play in arcades all the time, and if you guys watch the Violent Profile series, I talk at length about that. Um, and you can see perhaps why I was so excited to go to a local barcade, because we live in a small town. That's ridiculously awesome. Um, Especially since it's a good one. But among the shit I was playing last year, which, if you remember from the 2017 in review, that's the Dark, excuse me, the Dark Souls series, uh, all three games of which I've beaten now, um, Injustice 2 and Brave Exvius some more, uh, with Injustice 2, I, like, sat down and I was like, all right, Maximilian dude, teach me how to play fighting games again. <laughs> I'm tired of being bad. I want to get good. Three letters each. And he was like, all right, I'll tell you. And he told me, and I used those ideas, and I'm not as good as him, but, like, I've gotten my Twitch reflexes and my, my, my sense of where my buttons are so mapped around a controller at this point. I was garbage with a stick. Garbage. I, and, like, he still beat me at Tech and Tag Tournament with a fight stick. I'm so ancient. I was so slow. He hit me so many times that he shouldn't have because I saw it coming and I was like, all right, cool. Back block. All right, well, I didn't. You didn't do it. You didn't do it, slow hands. <laughs> and, like, I'm just, I'm the fucking ancient mariner. I can't play competitive fighting games anymore. I'm not quick enough. That ties into Fortnite, which I've played. And,. I'm not I'm not quick enough to play that game anymore. I'm not I'm not quick enough on building. I'm not I'm just I don't have the reflexes for it anymore. And it makes me so sad. <laughs> this is that like, age where we have to sit down and accept it to play games for fun. But I don't know, man. I'm older than you. So if you sat down and actually like went, this is the thing I'll be good at as I did with Injustice 2, I'm pretty sure you can find your way. Uh but I, this is also, this is probably related in that this was kind of the time I got real tired of multiplayer games. Yeah, I meant to mention that as well. I got really tired of um, open world games. Like, so fucking overwhelmed. Uh, you know, Dragon Age Inquisition, Fallout 4, the Skyrim re-release, okay? I played all of those enough. And then my my lovely, beautiful wife got me Final Fantasy XV for Christmas. And then early that next year, I got Breath of the Wild, 
for the Wii U and Mass Effect Andromeda. And I tried playing all of them at once, and I have not picked them up since. I, uh, this, the, and to you as overall, uh, you know, open world games is me with competitive multiplayer games. I just, like, uh, 2017, my most played game is, well, is Overwatch. I played a fuckload of Overwatch at the beginning of this year, and I think it broke me. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, you don't even really go in for, like, cool gear and shit. I don't go in for cool gear, I don't play League at all, I don't play Fortnite so much, I don't, it's, I find it frustrating. It doesn't, it, at least at this point in my life, and that might change later, it's not fun for me anymore. I got back into League toward the end of uh, 2017, like, it was one of those things I sat down and not forced myself to do, but I was like, alright. You made it a point. Yeah, I made a point to do it. Um, but even then, most of what I played is co-op versus AI, because it's fun. Because no one gets all pissed off and throws a shit fit. Also, in the you know absence of Marvel heroes, I needed fucking something. Um, Rest in peace, Marvel heroes. Uh, you you were taken from us too soon. There's the only reason you, that's the reason Path of Exile is on my most played games. I tried to play it; it wouldn't work on my computer. So, um, but like, and I'm sad about that. But at the same time, I'm not so much because the beginning of this list. One of the reasons I don't really remember much of it or can't pin it down is because I read a lot more back then. And I've kind of gone back to that. I read a lot now. And that's not necessarily... I'm not being a nerd lead. It's not better. It's just what I want to do right now. I want to yeah. do stuff that is for me. I don't want to have to worry about a whole bunch of other motherfuckers I don't know having a good time. Which is what I do when I'm playing competitively. So the reason I beat myself up so much when I'm doing poorly is because I'm dragging the experience down for other people. Well, I have to say as well, you know, for me, I've had a lot of free time. Um, so I managed to get that Dark Souls series done, and I've played a lot of Injustice. But, uh, you know, what I've really enjoyed the most, and it's even really only been in the last couple of months, has been drawing again. You know, I haven't drawn it really that much since high school. Because it's been since then that I've had a, a suitable desk in front of me and pencil in hand. Um, but, like, sitting down, taking time, maybe putting a fun show on TV or some YouTube videos or something, and just sketching up a little storm. Um, to steal a meme from a better from a better show, maybe I'm old. But I'm still excited for games coming out. Because Same. we've got Soul Calibur Six coming. That shit looks fly. It looks really tight, I'm not going to lie. Later this month I get the Ninja Turtles in Injustice 2. I don't know what else I could ask for. Um, and I'm excited to finally get into Breath of the Wild and Final Fantasy 15. I don't, like, I can't think of any game that you haven't mentioned, at least, that I'm, not, that I'm excited for. Like, the games you mentioned, sure... But I don't have any others. Well, there's also the unspoken, uh, you know, the next Dragon Age game. Um, well, yeah, duh. Uh, the next Dragon Age game, the next Mass Effect game, if there is one. Sure. Uh, the next the next Elder Scrolls game, if they mm -hmm. bother making one. Um, And I'm always happy to play Overwatch. and uh, There will be more fighting games and more wrestling games. And... I'm sure I'll get back into multiplayer games eventually. I'll get the urge to wreck some scrubs, but... It just requires such an investment to be good at now for me at my at my aged aged ways. Well, you know, I, I think if I if you don't mind me getting a little philosophical here, um, I think in, in the era of competitive gaming, we've forgotten that these things are supposed to be fun. And like, homie, unless you're playing ranked, which I don't play, and shit, even if you are. Let's be fair, we're low tier. I can't think like that, though, because I, if, if, if I'm doing badly, I'm dragging the experience down for other people playing the game. And I wouldn't want someone to not care about that if they were doing well, it Well, nah, but there's, there's two sides to that coin, all right? There's you dragging the experience down, and there's somebody looking for someone to blame. Oh, no, let's be real. I turned chat off in Overwatch. They can't talk to oh, me. Oh, sure, gosh, no. But, like, but in, like in League of Legends, for example, I mean, like... You know, I, I can't recall a time where you and I weren't raging over something said in chat that we were playing so badly that anyone deserved to talk to us like that. And, like, we're not the greatest players in the world, but the matchmaking system put us in with them, so neither are they. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'm sure I'll get back into it eventually. Right, right. I just, I feel we, nerds, gamers, if you want to go that route, as a culture, need to fucking lay off. Or, at the very least, try and unclench. It's okay, cool. to, it's okay to be serious about your shit. If you're, if you're taking it seriously, you're taking it seriously. But try to unclench, man. Hey, I, I you take... Don't know what the other per- you don't know what that dude on the other end of the computer is, but it ha- you don't know what his day is like. Leave him alone. Yeah. Yeah. Or... No, I can't think of a good segue. It's not stupid. Do you want to sign us off? Absolutely. Everything's better when nerds talk about it. Fuck it, let's get